It's the late 2020s, and you want to dominate your country with a strong grip. What do you do? If you dominate the people with violence, you're going to take everything away from them, and they will eventually fight back because they have nothing to lose. That's why countries that don't have a strong economy that provides the three basic needs always have a revolution or overthrown government. If you give them something to lose, like electricity, running water, school rooms for their kids, access to grocery stores, and fast food, brands of clothing, instant commodities, then people will feel like they have something to lose and won't really be bothered with what you do as a government. Citizens of America, for instance, have options like these. You aren't too happy with who you are. We have hormones that can change that. We have access to unlimited social media, which grants dopamine hits like TikTok, Facebook, Instagram Reels, and so on. And you want instant gratification. We have candy with sugar. You want to be happy. We have a prescription for that. And if that one doesn't work, we have seven more to put you on. And if those don't work, we have 20 more. We have a solution to every one of your problems. We aren't too hard on drugs, so you can do it. We almost promote the use of it by giving out Narcans and having programs where we're like, we want you to use drugs safely. This is Portland, Oregon, the city where every drug is legal. Drug addiction, homelessness, crime, perhaps a few side effects of decriminalizing every drug. Or so I think. You're doing fentanyl right now, yeah? I was loading some speed. For Jay, what are you shooting up here? Xylazine? Good old fashioned white boy meth. How easy is it to get your hands on fentanyl out here? Oh, crazy. I feel like the decriminalization of drugs yeah. turned into the decriminalization of crime. You know, when you need help, police don't show up. Do you support the decriminalization of drugs here? Yeah, of course I do because the jails aren't filling up the junkie. People are still dying. So, I died last week. But you died and you were brought back. Yeah, we, we both died a couple times. So that's why we, we've chosen not to mess with fentanyl anymore. Sure. I worked at a homeless shelter and came out as a she, they, non-binary, gender fluid individual. I told them she, they. It's no longer she, her, she, they. And then I was fired. Have you been in Portland for many years? All my whole life. So you've seen Portland before decriminalization and after? Sure. Have you seen any impact on downtown? I hope you guys have an awesome day. You're a criminal? Well... We won't really incarcerate you. We'll let you bail out, commit a few more crimes, and then you can come back to us, give us some more money, and then you'll be roaming the streets in four to ten years. We aren't too hard on you as long as you don't mess with me and my family. But we are safe because we are in our million-dollar homes away from crime-stricken areas where it does not matter. Well, Trudeau's broken bail policy, catch-and-release policy, is causing a wave of crime right across this country. In Vancouver, the same 40 people were arrested 6,000 times. 40 people, 6,000 arrests. That's 150 arrests per person per year. The criminals laugh at the cops. When they get arrested, they say, hey, it's morning, I'll see you at noontime, because they know they'll be back out on bail because Trudeau passed a bail reform that allows criminals same-day release, even when they have a long rap sheet. So here's the, here's the deal. We need common-sense bail reform that says that multiple repeat violent offenders who are newly arrested should stay behind bars until their trial, and if convicted, their sentence is complete. You also want to make the citizens of the country too busy to riot, too busy to mess up the commodities that they are provided. You give them just enough money where they can spend it on the necessities. But if they riot, tear up the stores, loot the places, they don't have jobs. And when they don't have jobs, they're broke. And when you live in an economy where we are a consumer economy, that's the best economy to control the people because people are always trying to buy, 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 buy. And as long as you provide the goods and services at a reasonable price, then the citizens aren't going to complain. When you don't provide the three basic needs, which is food, water, and housing, that's when citizens are upset. That's why there hasn't been an uprising in America, because we have most of the basic necessities provided to us at a cheaper cost. But as you can see, a lot of people are angry because the housing market is getting a little too expensive. So, People are starting to complain. When you have situations like that, citizens start to get angry because you're taking one of those three commodities from them. But 
How do you do it? You make fast food cheaper. You want a chicken sandwich that is pumped with all these hormones? $4.69. And guess what? It's going to be the hype of the season, and everybody's getting it, and so should you. The incident involving the Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich. After you bag it up, don't push me. This was at a mall in Nashville. Man repeatedly punches a woman after an argument while the two were in line. Now, witnesses say she did shove that man first. This was just the latest in a string of violent incidents at Popeye's locations since the re-release of their spicy chicken sandwich. Last week in Columbia, Tennessee, an employee body slamming a woman to the ground, breaking six of her ribs, her kneecap, and shattering her arm. Anger management experts advise people step back Think about your actions before acting in anger. And we're going to make our citizens three out of five overweight. So even if they did want to overtake the government, you're too fat to do so. So in order to take over a country, never rule with an iron fist because eventually you will be overthrown. But you give them everything while dangling over their head that you can take it all away, then they most likely won't revolt.